In today's video, I'm gonna show whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm teaching today's tutorial. No, you're not. I am. Why do you always get to teach the tutorials? Because I'm the best. Duh. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do this in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit a video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So here in Premiere Pro, I have my footage already dropped down into my timeline. And as you can see, I did it in two separate clips. If you're looking for that similar effect where you're having a conversation and it looks natural, you're going to have to do it in two separate takes. But what I recommend is that you either script it out or practice in advance because you're gonna be having a conversation with yourself. And as weird as that sounds, it's a lot harder and a lot more difficult than it looks. So for the first clip, you'll see as I go through, I sit there and I'm literally talking to myself. And in the second clip, the same thing. Understanding when those moments to speak are, which are easy to fix, but the more you practice, the less you're gonna to have to fix when in post. So the first thing that we'll do is I'm gonna drag this up and then I'm gonna drag the audio down, and then I'm gonna slide the second clip in between the two. And keep in mind, I've already trimmed this to what I want specifically, uh, so it may be a little bit different for your clip, but it's gonna be the same outcome. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the top clip and I'm gonna drop the opacity down just enough to where I can see both of myself. Sounds weird, I know. But to where I can see both clips. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the portion in my timeline somewhere where I can create a straight line and split down the middle. If you don't, with this next part, you're gonna see that your fingers are gonna get cut off, something's gonna, a shoulder and arm's gonna cut off and it's gonna look really funky. So what I'm gonna do, I'll next go over here to this free draw bezier and then I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna go where it says fit right here. I'm gonna click on 10%. I'm just gonna create a box around the second clip. It doesn't have to be anything beautiful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on inverted over here. Now I can see both people or both subjects in the clip. I'm gonna change this opacity back to 100. I'm gonna change this to fit and then select the second clip. And as you can see, there is a straight line going down in between both clips. And you might ask yourself, why is it doing that? I shot this clip on a tripod, the lighting remained the same. But what you have to understand is that the way that the light hits your body could make the shadow in the background change just a little bit. So in order to fix this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that top clip and then we're gonna go down here to mass feather and we're just going to increase that until that line pretty much disappears. You can also play around with the mask expansion, but for this tutorial, I only need to mess around with the mask feather. And that's all it takes. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.